Thank you for joining me at Ryan Dome. When we left off, we created a simple jump scare that uh, we could put anywhere in any game and it would jump at us and scare the player playing the game. In this uh, video, we're gonna be creating custom trees and a little bit, um, and creating a little bit more better atmosphere. So, I've removed all the trees that we initially had because we're starting over. We're doing something completely new. Uh, and that is, we are going to create trees from scratch. So let's get started. Go down here into the bottom assets, right click, create, no sorry, import, tree creator. Go ahead and import that. Import. So the reason why we're creating custom trees is I didn't really like the old ones. They didn't really um, bring your your creation to the map field and just brought um, someone else's creation in so this way we have a little bit more of a um, our own personal feeling to this so first thing we gotta do we're gonna go to edit no game object 3d object tree boom now you will notice this gigantic tree uh, trunk that's put here Always base your trees based on the height of your capsule player. So, over on the right hand side in the inspector window, we have all the assets for the tree. Now, I'm going to show you really quickly how to quickly assemble a good looking tree. So, um, tree spread. This, or seed, not spread, seed, tree seed. This is just a random seed. You can do that. I kind of like the straight up and down one. So I'm just going to kind of scan through here until I see one that I like. I like that one. That one looks pretty good. That one looks like a tree trunk to me. Alright. Area spread. You don't really need to worry about that. That's just how close the tree will be to another tree. So I'm going to do... It's probably a good distance right there. Alright. Let's add some br branches. Because right now this tree looks not like a tree at all. So... Go up into this tree aspect and click on the, uh, the branch and click on add a branch. Now it's going to add this really dumb looking branch. However, we can change this up quite a bit. Scroll down, make sure you're selected on this branch. Scroll down and see the distribution? Go ahead and turn that to alternate. And we're going to do frequency and we're just going to scan the fre frequency up. Hang on a second manual number yeah it's a manual number okay so I like to do about 12 branches a tree now you might be looking at this and go that looks like a dumb tree well with three more clicks it's gonna look really good all right here we go so twirl you're gonna twirl it so it's random so each one's facing a different direction okay we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna change the length we're gonna shorten these just a little bit like so and the very last click is um, sun. So this is how, f if it points up to the sun or not. And just like that, we have somewhat of a better looking tree than when we started. All right. So I think these branches are a little low in my opinion. So uh, what we'll do is um, in the distribution here, click on this little green area and select this one or this one. Just play around. I kind of like that one. Maybe we'll go right about, right about there looks good. So now we have a tree with um, branches. Now let's add a, um, some leaves. So make sure you're clicked on this top one, click on leaves, and you'll see that adds one leaf to, to each branch. I'm going to change the frequency of that to about 18. Looks pretty good. And let's go back and click on our branch. And let's add a texture branch material go ahead and click on that and you should have big tree bark go ahead and select big tree bark it's gonna take a moment to import the asset all right good now we're gonna click on the branches up here we're gonna do the same thing big tree bark last but not least we're gonna click on our leaves add a texture and we're gonna do big branch all right and that is our tree. It looks pretty good. I was going for more of a um, kind of a spooky bear tree going here with our uh, scare, our scare game, our horror game. Uh, go ahead and feel free to play with those settings, though. You can add and 
There's all sorts of things you can do. The growth angle, the speed. But I think, let's just take a look at this, what it looks like in the player. I think that's a pretty good tree. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. All right, so now that we have our tree, we have to, well, as the, now that we have our tree, uh, we have one problem. We can we can walk through our tree. We we become with the tree. We become with nature. We don't want that. We don't want to be with nature. It's a video game. So we have to add a component and mesh collider. Now don't click mesh collider. Mesh collider doesn't actually work with what we're doing. Mesh collider will work with one tree, but not what we're doing. We actually have to do capsule collider. Make sure it's capsule collider. Now. You will notice this capsule collider that it's a little bit too big. I can't touch the tree from here. Trying won't move. That's because it's this giant green thing. We have to scroll down and on the capsule collider, radius. We gotta scale down the radius until we think it's an estimate to be about the size of the trunk. Now, our trunk's a little bit wavy, but I'm going to center this so that it's a little bit more in our tree trunk. Oh that so you got to play with the numbers a little bit until you get what you think is good I'm gonna bump up the radius just a tad there and the height I probably don't need it to be so high but I'm just gonna actually I'm just gonna leave it because it's not bothering anyone so we have that maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger um, so that we don't walk through it at all maybe that 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 looks good. Yeah, that that looks good. Oh, I gotta move it over here. We have our tree. We're gonna have to right click down here, create new prefab, and name it tree. I'll name it tree one, because I already have a tree. Drag your tree from up here onto the prefab. And now this is where um, where that capsule thing comes together. So if we go to terrain, tree, uh, edit tree, add tree, select tree one, add. Remember this was our old tree and it's still here. So I'm just gonna have to shift and delete all those because we want our new tree. So if I now click and add these trees, now play our game you'll notice a lot more uh, trees and they have capsule colliders each tree does everywhere we put and because we did the capsule collider we don't have uh, every tree can have a collider so if you did a mesh collider it wouldn't work so yeah I think these trees look pretty good now you can also make more than one different type of tree so they're not all the same but for right now, I think this is pretty good. All right, guys, that's all my time for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. I really appreciate it.